guys and welcome back to Unjaded Jade. So today's video is focused on my teenagers out there um, and it's basically five things you could do, five pretty easy things um, that will help improve your future job interviews, CV and uni application and basically give you way more things to talk about and make you more likely to succeed. So in this video I'm going to give you guys uh, my own practical examples and things I've done. Also I just wanted to say, because I know a lot of people have, but if your exams have finished Praise the Lord, I am so proud of you, I'm so happy for you. Honestly, I know how hard the majority of you have worked for this and it's done, it's over. You've got this long, beautiful summer ahead of you, okay? So yeah, now you just need to try and not stress about results day because it's gonna come around anyway and you've done everything that you possibly can. So yeah, um, that was just a random side note. So my tip number one is Volunteer, okay? Volunteering is not only amazing for the community and whoever you are helping, but it really proves to a recruiter or the person interviewing you that you are quite a kind and compassionate person. And not only that, but you've been doing it in your own free time, choosing to help people. So personally, I have been volunteering with disabled children for the charity Sports Able at the swimming club for over two years now. And honestly, it is one of the best decisions I ever made. The children are just amazing. I have gained such a greater understanding of disabilities in general and gained so much compassion and empathy. And also in different interviews I have had, it's almost always come up and it's just such a great thing to talk about in general. So some other things I've done within volunteering that are probably more accessible. Uh, I went to my old primary school and I volunteered at the school netball club for the younger years. Also volunteer just wherever your interests are. So I personally love horse riding and for two years, every Saturday I volunteered at my stables, um, just as like a stable hand. Um, last year I also volunteered at a literary festival, which was really cool. Um, so I just helped take people's tickets show them to their seats, help the authors backstage for the book signings, which was so cool. Um, and now if I was to apply for a job at like a big event, I could always use that as experience. So, you know, it's pretty useful. I would definitely recommend doing voluntary work if you haven't got that much actual experience working, because at the end of the day, anyone can volunteer. Even if you're under 18, you might not think that you can volunteer, but there are so many different things that are available to you. You just need to know where to look. So yeah, after watching this video, if you are interested, you could go and you could do some research right this very second into whatever interests you. Go on the internet, type in volunteering in your local area, send some emails out, ring some people, get that, get that put together. I'm consulting my little book. Right, so tip number two. Um, this is particularly for university applications in UCAS, but you need to do some external sort of learning outside of school and outside of the classroom situation. There are so many ways to do this. Read some books, go to the library, watch loads of documentaries, watch TED Talks. TED Talks are amazing if you haven't already watched those before. Uh, you could always do a MOOC, which is a massive online open course and they're run by different universities. So for example, if I wanted to study maths at um, university, which I definitely do not, then um, a lot of universities would perhaps offer a MOOC in maths and I could show my interest by doing like a three week course um, in maths and just kind of developing my knowledge outside of school. So definitely look that up now if you want to gain some extra learning and understanding. Especially this summer, it's so useful if you can just develop your own personal interests beyond the school curriculum. So tip number three, and this is quite similar to the first one, um, but I would highly, highly recommend that you do either DV, which is the Duke of Edinburgh Award, or NCS, or both. I've personally done both. I'm doing my gold DV this year in Norway. I did NCS last year, and I've also done my bronze and silver DV. Um, but honestly, they are just, they just encompass all the skills that you need to talk about at interviews and, um, and job applications and all these sorts of things. They just, they teach you everything from team building to problem solving, um, people skills and communication, organization. Um, on NCS, we did things like public speaking and um, specific skills like business enterprise. And the great thing is, 
They're not too expensive. I mean, NCS is subsidized by the government. So I think I ended up paying 30 pounds for three weeks and I climbed Mount Snowden and I did all these crazy things. And equally D of E, most of the kit you can borrow from places like your provider. Step four, um, take on responsibilities at your school. And this is relatively easy. I mean, obviously some roles are like way harder than others, but honestly, it does not take that much effort to just sign up for things at your school. So for example, I think it was in year nine that I became a leader of talk, which sounds really lame and stuff, but it just meant that I did more public speaking and I gained more knowledge about communication. In year 10, I became a peer mediator and I just helped monitor the younger years, sort out any sort of friendship issues that they had. I have served four years in school council, which is quite crazy. And as of last week, I now run school council, which is crazy as well. Um, and it's taught me everything from organization skills to effective communication to literally leadership because I now run it. And then when I was in year 12, the start of year 12, I applied to be a prefect. And now I am head girl, which is crazy. And obviously head girl is sort of like, but I'm certain that I would not have got to that if I hadn't done all the sort of step-by-step -step roles before. But anyway, all these sorts of responsibilities at school are so good at teaching you general skills. And because they are in the safety of your school environment, they're a great start for eventually having more responsibilities in a job and things like that. Especially as there are people to turn to for support if you need it. So yeah, right this second, you can consider the sort of things that your school offers. You can always email a teacher and be like, Hey, have you got any cool responsibilities that I can do? Can I help out a club or something? I don't know. That sort of thing I would definitely recommend. Just seize your opportunities. Equally, you could just mentor someone in a younger year. Okay, and tip number five, and this is easy and yet hard, and that is basically get to know your personality so well. I want you to know your strengths and your weaknesses, like down to a T. And um, a good way of identifying that is by doing things like clubs and volunteering. So for example, a strength. Um, my, one of my personal strengths is that I'm quite an extroverted people's person. And so I know that when it comes to my CV or job interview, I can really emphasize that aspect about myself. And equally weaknesses, it's very important to identify your weaknesses. Um, and as soon as you know what your weaknesses are, you can work to turn them more into strengths. So for example, public speaking, ah, uh, public speaking. I'm terrified of public speaking, have been for ages, and I'm pretty sure everyone does not like public speaking that much. However, I have therefore made such an effort to do far more public speaking. For example, all of this week I have been doing assemblies, and all of next week I will also be doing assemblies, which is great. <laughs> and just basically saying yes to doing things like that. So yeah, right this very second after this video, sit down with a bit of paper and make a list of your strengths and your weaknesses. And just be completely honest with yourself because you're the only person who's gonna be reading this list. Just be honest. What do you struggle with interpersonally? Like whether it's communication, organization, public speaking, and then just have a think to yourself about the ways that you can improve upon those skills. And then along with this point, I'd like to say, um, kind of understand the skills that universities and jobs and um, recruiters will want to see demonstrated by you. So that is things like organization, ability to work in a team, communication and interpersonal skills. And that is probably the top one for me. People skills are everything in this world. That is something that my dad especially has tried to hammer home to me is that if you are good with people, you can almost get anywhere in life. So definitely join clubs, meet new people and get good at socializing in general, even if you are a naturally shy person. Yeah, leadership skills and public speaking, all those sorts of things. You should be able to find a way to demonstrate those skills through your experiences and be able to draw upon examples for those skills when you're talking about them in a CV or personal statement or anything like that. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it actually helped you. I'm not just like trying to sit here and boast about the things I've done. Like that is, 
That's not the aim of this video. Yeah, don't stress about what you are doing in your free time. Not everything that you're going to be doing right now is going to be prep for life and future and uni. Don't think of it like that. Um, the whole point is, is just, you know, use your free time. Even do things as a creative outlet. So for example, my YouTube channel, that is a creative outlet and I'm, yet yeah, I'm also helping people. So I would happily talk about this at an interview, you know what I mean? So right this second, you can choose to get involved. You can do your research, you can go away, you can think to yourself, do you know what? I'm gonna join some more things and therefore work on the skills that will make me a better, more well-rounded person. Yeah. See you guys. I hope you have a lovely, productive week in general. Yeah. See you.